Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to 2P Press Start. I'm Giant Killer, and today we're celebrating the release of Hearthstone with episode number 14 of our top 5 Hearthstone plays of the week. Now let's get right into the action with number 5. Our number 5 play this week was submitted by Dino R, and it features Ponky on Druid up against Josh E on Mage, and Ponky's found himself in a sticky situation in one fireball kill range for his Mage opponent. But this Druid's out to show his opponent he's not out of the woods yet. Ponky starts by buffing up his Raging Worgen with back-to-back -back Marks of Nature, making it an 11-3. He then whips it into a Wind Furious Frenzy with a 1-point Wrath, allowing this Force of Nature to swing in twice for 24 damage. An easy swing from the Sunwalker nets Ponky the comeback win. And if that wasn't enough Worgen buffing action for you, our number four clip this week was a submission from Guy I, and it features the Rob on Paladin up against What on Mage. The Rob casts his Worgen Infiltrator on turn one, but then this lazy Lycan doesn't lift a finger until much later in the game. In the meantime, the Rob buffs him up with a Shattered Sun Cleric, a Blessing of Kings, a Blessing of Might, another Blessing of Kings, and finally, after biding his time, the Rob's patience pays off and he unleashes the beast with a Dark Iron Dwarf followed by a Blessed Champion to bring it up to a howling 3210. This massive Worgen leaps out of the shadows for a one-hit kill, leaving his mage opponent wondering what hit him. And our number three clip this week features Teldo in a rank eight priest mirror match up against Norlog. And in this clip, Teldo's out to kill Norlog with kindness, using his opponent's two Northshire clerics, which draw Norlog a card every time a minion is healed. Teldo starts out with a Holy Nova to damage each of Norlog's minions. He follows that up with a Circle of Healing, triggering Norlog's clerics six times each, and causing his opponent to draw the rest of his deck, and then some. 28 fatigue damage later, Norlog is so tired of drawing cards that he keals over dead. Our number two clip this week is a submission from Shurka, and it features Shurka in a Warrior Mirror match up against Sharif. And as the play begins, Shurka's in a tight spot, facing down the generally unpleasant Grimash Hellscream and Ragnaros combo on Sharif's side of the board. But like a young Steven Seagal, well, a younger Steven Seagal anyway, Shurka's about to give his opponent the fire down below. And we're not talking about a herpes flare up here, we're talking Wild Pyromancer, which deals one damage to every minion each time a spell is cast. Shurka starts by casting the Pyromancer, followed by Commanding Shout to keep his minions alive. He follows that up with an Acolyte of Pain, which draws Shurka a card each time it takes damage. An Inner Rage triggers a Pyromancer proc and a card draw, drawing Shurka his second Pyromancer. Shurka plays the second Pyromancer and triggers both with a Coin and a Rampage. Then another Inner Rage triggers both Pyromancers again, clearing the board and purging Sharif's Ragnaros with fire. This week's number one clip was a submission from David H, and it features a maze on Priest up against Angelic on Warlock in some heated ranked action. A maze is ahead on life, but Angelic is threatening a comeback with a significant presence on board anchored by a taunting Ancient Watcher. But once a maze gets that mad scientist look in his eye, you know it's all over for Angelic. A maze starts out by casting a Wild Pyromancer, followed by a Nightmare on his Soul Priest, leaving it at 8-9 post Napalm. A Crazed Alchemist makes the Soul Priest a 9-8, then a Shadow Madness swipes the Farseer to kill off the Ancient Watcher. The Pyromancer then clears out Angelic's remaining minions, and the Soul Priest swings in for one amazing finish. And for our bonus clip this week, we bring you the Tyrant of Westfall. In this clip, which was submitted by that guy from that one show, movement brings out the leader of the Defias Brotherhood in style for an early win. And while this clip and the credits are rolling, it's time once again to talk about the series. We're back this week after taking a weekend off for my bachelor party, and in the meantime, we received a lot of really great and supportive messages and emails, so thanks to everyone who's been looking forward to episode 14. We're also thrilled to celebrate the official release of Hearthstone with this week's episode. Here's to the end of a great beta and the start of a great game. Also, I want to throw out another great big 2P press start welcome to everyone who's joined the channel over the past couple of weeks, and of course a huge thank you to everyone who submitted such great plays. If you like our Top 5 Plays series, please share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on that sub button and help us keep the channel growing. You can also follow us on Twitter at at 2P Press Start and on Facebook at facebook.com slash 2P Press Start for updates whenever a Top 5 video goes live. We're always looking for more amazing Hearthstone plays to showcase on the series, so if you've seen or recorded an amazing play, please stop by 2ppressstart.com and click on the Submit a Play link for instructions on how to enter an epic play into the running for the next Top 5 Plays video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.